So, you would like to play through Scarlet and Violet with a shiny starter Pokemon, but you heard that they are shiny locked in this game and don't know what to do. Fear not, because there's actually a way to start hunting a shiny starter before even getting a single badge, and today, I'm gonna show you how. First and foremost, before leaving your bedroom, open up the menu and set tech speed to fast and turn off autosave. After listening to the director hit on your mom for a little bit, you'll get the chance to choose between Sprigatito, Fue Coco, and Quaxley. The game makes you take the walk with them first, but once you get to the steps of your neighbor's house, you're going to want to pop open the menu and save right here. Now, you might think that's it. You can start resetting the game right here, and eventually your starter will be a different color, but it won't. This is what shiny locked means. The initial starter gift is forced to never be shiny, so resetting here is a waste of your time. However, what we can do here is reset for a female starter. You need a female because otherwise you need to get your hands on a ditto in order to be able to breed starter eggs, and that's not available until later in the game. The odds are a modest 12.5%, and thankfully gender shows up on the nickname screen, so it's quick and painless. Once you get your female starter, you need only play through the rest of the tutorial and then head to the academy for the game's introduction. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes, and once it's over, the entire world of Paldea is at your disposal. But you're not going to see the entire world of Paldea, at least not yet. Instead, you're gonna go back to the starting area because we need to have a picnic. See, in Scarlet and Violet, there is no traditional Pokemon daycare. Instead, you are the daycare. Anywhere in the wild, you can open your menu and start a picnic. The Pokemon in your party join the picnic and have a chance to breed with each other as long as they are compatible. If they wind up making an egg, it shows up in this little basket at the end of the picnic table. So, all you need to do is catch a suitable father for your starter. Lechonk works for both Fuecoco and Sprigatito, and Fletchling can be used for Quaxley, all easily catchable in the starting area. Once you have your parents, you could get started, but it's gonna be painfully slow without the help of sandwiches. By making a sandwich with the egg power at your picnic, you can generate eggs much faster. It's very easy to make with just strawberry and jam, and will cause your basket to fill up with approximately one egg per minute. These ingredients can be bought right inside the city at Sure Cans and Artisan Bakery, so stock up. You might be curious as to how many eggs your basket can take at one time. Well, unfortunately, it seems to max out at 10 eggs. The egg power buff lasts for 30 minutes, and I tried AFKing in the picnic for all 30 minutes only to receive 10 eggs. However, if I instead checked every 10 minutes, I'd get 7 to 10 eggs each time. Also, don't just spam the basket. It seems to have a lockout penalty for checking too much. So, eat your egg power sandwich, gather your first batch of eggs, and start hatching. Unfortunately, you can't generate eggs and hatch at the same time, so you'll need to cycle between both activities. Hatching itself can be sped up by getting a flame body Pokemon to lead the party. In testing, this difference was almost 50%, so it's definitely worth it to catch a local Fletchling and evolve it into Fletchender at level 17. In total, generating 10 eggs takes about 10 minutes and hatching them takes about 5 minutes. That means every 15 minutes you can get 10 potential shiny starter Pokemon, which averages out to about 40 per hour. At the base odds of 1 in 4096, this hunt will take on average a modest 102 hours. But wait, what if I told you we could get that number down to a mere 17 hours by making one simple change? You see, Scarlet and Violet have a shiny breeding buff known as the Masuda Method. This improves the odds of receiving shiny eggs from 1 in 4096 to a juicy 1 in 683. In order to gain this buff, you need the parents to be from different language save files. Note that I said save files and not switch consoles. You might not remember, but when you first start the game, you can actually pick any language right off the bat. So as long as you have either Nintendo Switch Online, a friend with the game, or two Switches and two copies of the game, you can get yourself foreign language parents and make things a lot easier. If you're trading locally, then you or your friend can just make a second profile on the Switch, start a new save, and start trading foreign language Pokemon before even getting to the Academy. Once you get to the Pokemon Center, you'll unlock all trading features, and going at max speed, it took me almost exactly 30 minutes. If you're planning to do this with Nintendo Switch Online, you have three options. Find a trading partner playing on a different language game via online community like my Discord, surprise trade away random Pokemon until you get a suitable foreign parent, or create your foreign save first, get your female starter there, trade it to a friend and have them hold it for you, then make your main save, play up until you unlock picnics, and then have them trade the foreign starter back. Whichever way you choose, I can't recommend using the Masuda method enough if you're really committed to playing through the game with a shiny starter. Cutting the average time from 100 hours down to 17 is pretty massive. Should you choose this path, I wish you good luck. However, this is just a taste of all the juicy Scarlet and Violet info I have available. I've already played the game for 80 plus hours and distilled everything I've learned into one video. 
without spoiling any plot points or any new Pokemon that weren't covered in official news. This game includes a variety of features that make getting shiny and competitive Pokemon much easier than previous installments, and you owe it to yourself to check it out. Until next time, peace.